Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Trigger Warning Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative. So a lot's been said about the uh, the hydroxychloroquine uh, Z-Pack treatment that President Trump has been touting uh, the last few weeks. Most of it negative, but there's actually been a lot of uh, anecdotal evidence from different countries across the world, as well as uh, right here in America, of a lot of doctors successfully treating a lot of Chinese coronavirus patients with this drug cocktail. In fact, there's a lot of doctors that have said patients feel better within hours of taking this drug cocktail. Now, there's some discussion as to how exactly this decades-old drug, hydroxychloroquine, works to uh, works to to not necessarily cure Chinese coronavirus, but lessens the symptoms. Uh, I've seen a, a bit of a, a couple of theories floating around as to why that might uh, why that might happen. But the fact of the matter is, it works. It's a it's a drug combination that works, and and the media and Democrats have been uh, dutifully trying to paint this drug combination as a a Trump snake oil, uh, if you will. You know they've they've told President Trump to shut up about it, uh, about how you know this is a drug that can have very bad side effects if you take it incorrectly. They even pointed you might remember this from a co- from a couple of days ago last week I think you might they they even pointed out that Arizona couple that drank the fish tank cleaner that had uh, chloroquine phosphate in it, which is not hydroxychloroquine, by the way. This is not the drug that President Trump has been uh, touting the last couple of weeks. Uh, But there was even a big to-do about how that couple took hydroxychloroquine, or uh, uh, the the chloroquine soft... uh, chloroquine phosphate, rather, how they took the, the chloroquine phosphate that was in the fish tank cleaner because they heard President Trump talk about it. And I, I reported that on that uh, at uh, Sparta Report. I'll put both of those articles that I wrote about it uh, in the comments section below so you can kind of peruse that. But uh, most interesting story uh, about hydroxychloroquine uh, has come out, out of Michigan, surprisingly enough, within the last couple of days. Now, Michigan initially had banned the use of hydroxychloroquine in coronavirus patients, just like Nevada did. The reasoning is because, of course, Democrats are supposedly pro-science. There's no proof that uh, hydroxychloroquine actually works, even though we have all these studies and uh, and we have all of this anecdotal evidence that says that the drug combination works to, to help cure coronavirus patients and so on and so forth. That's... You know, that's 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 it didn't enter into her calculations at all. Fact of the matter is, it was banned because she didn't want to give Orange Man Bat a win. But uh, a state representative out of Michigan, uh, what's her what's her name? Let me look that up. Karen Whitsett, uh, Democrat who represents Detroit, she actually came down with coronavirus, a uh, pretty bad case, and she talks about how um, she actually went pretty far south within a few hours of, of uh, being diagnosed with, uh, with coronavirus. Um, she was in a, in a very bad way, managed to get a prescription for hydroxychloroquine and felt better within hours, literally within hours. And she credits the drug with saving her life. And she actually credits President Trump with making that drug available to her as an option. She was on with Laura Ingram on Fox News the other night, and let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of that interview that she gave. I'll put the full link uh, to the interview in the comments section below, but I just want to put a little snippet of it uh, in this video. So here we go. Let's take a look at that. If the president had not, if the president Trump had not talked about this, it would not be something that's accessible for anyone to be able to get that right now. It would not even be possible. And I mean that with Honestly, because I did have a difficult time even that day obtaining the medication because of an order that was put down in my state. Now, folks, it's 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 worth repeating. This drug was banned for use in coronavirus patients in Nevada and in Michigan because President Trump was touting it. That's literally the only reason why. It, I mean, of course, the, the Democrat governors will tell you, well, we're just, we were just looking out for our people. There was no, there's no proof. There hasn't been studies done. Yeah, bullshit. They, want, they, they wanted to keep Orange Man bad from having a win. They would rather see their citizens die of this Chinese coronavirus than uh, than to allow them access to life-saving medicines. And you can hear 
Representative uh, Representative Whitsett <laughs> credit President Trump with essentially saving her life, something that runs completely counter to the narrative that the mainstream media has been putting out with regards to hydroxychloroquine in the last couple of years weeks. And, you know, props to Karen Whit Whitsett for, for coming out and sticking up for President Trump and telling the truth about her situation. Hopefully more people will come out and tell the truth as well. We'll see more and more of this hydroxychloroquine uh, Z-Pak combination being prescribed, and we can finally move back to some sanity in this country. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this video right here for now. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you heard, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both of those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all. Uh...